Hello, hello. We are live. Ooh, looks like we already have someone. Hello. Say hi in the chat. Ooh, I apologize. I'm sleepy. Oh, looks like we lost someone. <laughs> there he is. Train fans. Oh, by the way, while we're waiting for others, I see what you mean now. Looks much better, I agree. Thank you for pointing that out. Ooh. Wow, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes for some more people to show up. But I have a eclectic pile of random things here that I will open so we can check them out. Looks like we have somebody else. Yeah, they are super stiff. I think Shug said he felt like he was going to... Honestly, I did. The first one, it's kind of funny. The first one, as I was bending it, I thought the same thing. I'm like, uh, you know, the, the corner of this should be beveled or else it's not going to go in. But then I went and looked at it. I'm like, okay, no, it is beveled, so it should be fine. And then... You know, I just had to push it a little bit and it went in. And then the second one popped in super easy. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, they do look good with them pushed in. Hey, KR Magnum. The interesting thing is going to be getting the wheels back out. There we go. Oh, my logos fell over. Hey, Candle Kid. No, you're right on time. I'm just kind of hanging out, giving some time for people to show up. My Harry Potter Legos are falling over. I'll give it another minute or so, and then I'll get started. You're getting surgery in three days. Oh, no. What is your surgery for? Are you okay? All right, well, I guess I'll go ahead and get started here. Um, I found these randomly at TJ Maxx, of all places. You can see the sticker here on the top. $3.99. It says compare at 5 but, I mean, these things are usually, like, 12 to $13. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I bought all the ones that they had. I've never gotten any of the Loyal Subject figures before, but I've always kind of liked them. I always thought they looked nice. I just... To me, if it's a blind bag or a blind box, usually $5 is kind of my threshold. I, I don't really want to spend like $12 and then it turns out it's something I already have. That's a decent chunk of money to waste on something when you're not sure what it is. So I just kind of steered clear of them just because of the whole blind box aspect. But now that they're $4, I felt like that's right in the wheelhouse. So I, I picked up what they had. And I'm going to open them up and take a look for you. I'm actually really excited about these because these can be Zords or Rangers. So if we take a look at the box here for these, and this is going to fall over. But it shows how they, okay, we have the Rangers. But then we have, here's a Pterodactyl, here's a Triceratops, here's some other Zords on the side. And I think it's funny that it's this. the box says the movie because the costumes are from the movie. But these Dinozords uh, most definitely are not from the movie, so... This thing's just falling over. All right, hold on. I'm missing comments. Let me go back and read these. Got the DXS-10 in today. Definitely a decent update to the original through my cross got tight crown was bent out of the box. That's a bummer to hear, but it is a different mold, huh? That's good to know. It's actually a bit of a upgrade. I think I don't have the original normal one. I only have the Ava in the original one. So I felt like I'm definitely going to get the new one because... Even if it's not much of an upgrade, I don't have the original of that color scheme. I only have the Ava. And I don't think there's any plans to make the Ava in the new one. So I'll have one of the new one, one of the old one, one regular, one Ava. It works out perfectly. Oh, nice. That's good to know. The harness has new clips. 
You know the time I said I'm getting surgery a couple streams back, I talked about my Achilles tendon. Yes, Magnum, I remember that now. Well, I hope it all works out well for you. I hope you get a Red Ranger Zord in one of them. I do too, Candle Kid. He's my favorite, so that's what I want as well. I don't have any of these. These are literally the first loyal subjects anything that I've ever opened. I remember back in the day when they first did like the G1 Transformers. That was when they kind of first caught my eye. And I thought they looked cool, but I just thought they were too expensive. So I kind of forgot about them. And I know they've done Master of the Universe ones. They've done Thundercat ones. Again, I all thought they looked good, but just a little bit too rich for my blood. But I found these $4, so I'm ready to go. I think we'll see a new Ava at some point. Probably only one mold plate. Oh, okay. Who's ready to get nuts about blunt build the movie be the one? Yes, Magnum. That looks really fun. I want to check that out. It'll be a while before we see it, though, because it'll be in theaters. Then it'll be a little bit. Then it'll get released on, like, Blu-ray. And then the people who translate it for us have to get the Blu-ray. And then they have to watch it. It takes about a month or so to translate a whole movie. So, unfortunately, it probably won't be until maybe Christmas time. Maybe January, February next year when we'll probably get to watch it. But it looks fun. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get in here. Should I do a movie box first? Or this one is just the regular MMPR. <laughs> yes, I got one of these. Um, these are, I guess they're fairly new. It says they're 16 to collect, and they're just, they're little figures. They're not, um, they're not like, they don't transform. They're just little PVC figures. But I thought they looked fun, so I figured... I'd grab that. Yeah, I think they're relatively new. I think they're relatively new. It's kind of like Play School trying to get in on the Imaginex blind bags. <laughs> kind of the same situation. I did see that tra uh, Train Fans, the Geo debut. I could hardly tell what was going on. It was so fast. It was only like five seconds long. Is that really all the cameo was? It was like Sento standing there going, huh? And then Geo was like, build Ride Watch. And then it was over. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess that was it. <laughs> Alright, one vote for a movie box. I hope you might get one of Rescue Bots or Optimus. I hope so too. Cat Max, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. Hopefully they have more paint than the Rid blind bag <laughs> figures. Alright, I have two votes for a movie box. So yeah, you guys are probably familiar with these. These are the normal... MMPRs, but I'll definitely, I'll start with a movie one over here. All right, so let's see. What is the best way to open? It's Rabbit, Dragon, Be the One, Cross Z Build, yeah. Yeah, they just announced, Premium Band, I just announced the, uh, it's like a remold of Rabbit Tank Sparkling. Should be interesting. Hey, Adam Prime, thank you for joining. Yeah, still no Trinity pre-orders. Yeah, that would be nice. He messaged me the other day. That sounds awesome. If he wants the... Because I, I have the original Trinity. And if they're really... I mean, it's a great toy. Don't get me wrong. But if it's really the same, then I don't really need a second one. And if he's going to get it because he doesn't have the original, and then I can get the card. It works out perfect for everybody. Yeah, I know, Candle Kid. I, I, <laughs> I do need to be. Still no, uh, no Geo Driver pre-orders either. Yeah, cross Z build can. Exactly. That's what it's called. All right. These things are sealed up tight. Why can't I get you open? Come on. Should not be this difficult. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's pronounced Geo, but it's written as Zio. If that helps you. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bag. Oh, I think it might be a Zord. It doesn't have any accessories. It doesn't seem like it. But we'll see. Alright. Ready? Ready? There's a little checklist. Oh, it's the Black Ranger. Woohoo! Alright, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, he does. He has a little 
It's a weird looking blade blaster. <laughs> I'll take a closer up look in a second. I just want to make sure I don't leave anything in the bag here. All right, so I'm going to angle this down temporarily. The helmets look pretty good. Now these come apart, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got Adam. He's got a ball joint for his head. Hey, Earning Rocks, welcome. Looks like we got a kind of ball joint in the shoulder there. Swivel at the... The one thing I will say is to swivel at the the glove cuff. Way too many diamonds, guys. You can you can settle down with the diamonds there. Jeez. <laughs> they should have like four to five diamonds going around the boots and the gloves. Not 30. Look at that. It's nuts. But it looks pretty good otherwise. Helmet looks good. And then let's get the little blade blaster out of here. <laughs> like Batman? I can see that. Alright, so... It's a weird little blade blaster. But he can hold it. All the diamonds is what they said down at the office. <laughs> it's just so many diamonds. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it does look weird. Oh, he's got kind of a swivel up here in the waist, too. Or in the ab, ab crunch. But it's just like a ball joint. Looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, I really do, too. I hope there's a Zord in the other box. All right, let me get all this trash out of here. All right. I guess I'll keep this little card here. Oh, it has a little bio. Let's see if I can zoom in. Adam Park, a.k.a. the Black Ranger, was a competitor in the final round of the Angel Grove Team Ninja competition before ultimately being granted the powers of the Mastodon Power Coin, thus joining the ranks of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So there you go. A little bit about Adam there. Angel Grove Ninja Competition. Yeah, I was going to say, he doesn't... I feel like he knew that I bought the other ones... But for whatever reason, never bought them himself. I didn't have a ton. I think of the original ones, I had the E3, and then the other E3, the Iron, it was like Iron Wing and Flare Wing. There were two of them. And then I had the H5, and I had the Trinity. I think those were the only five I ever got. All right, Zord, Zord, Zord. I like it, Candle Kid. Keep chanting for me. Fingers crossed. Zord. Zord. Uh, I think it's a person. Judging by the big head. Ho 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 ho! Not a Zord, but a decent pull. Not a Zord. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. I love the shout out to that. I can't believe I pulled a Tommy. I gotta look on the box and see what the uh, what the percentages are of that because I don't think they're high. One in ninety six. Holy crap. And see, the Zords are all 2 out of 16, so you have a 1 in 8 chance. The Rangers are all 2 out of 16, so they're all equally as likely. The Rangers and the Zords. It looks like Triceratops and Pterodactyl are a little bit more rare, but holy crap. 
Is there even a White Ranger in these? Yes, there is. But I, I will say I like the White Ranger from the movie. I might even like it a little bit more than the normal one. That is nuts. For $4 at a TJ Maxx, and I pull one in 96. That is crazy. Why his head really doesn't want to move though. So it looks like the the shoulders are impeded a bit by the shoulder pads there. But you see, no diamonds on this guy, so ultimately he wins. <laughs> to get his crazy ponytail. Look at this Saba. Saba's better painted than like some Bandai America toys that I know. Hey Cody, welcome, welcome. Hey Est, Este, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This looks pretty good. See, you got the red eyes painted. Look at that, silver, gold. All right. See, pop in the little ponytail. <laughs> I will say that the uh, the coin on his chest being a different color than the rest of the gold is a little weird. But overall, it's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can get Sub in his hand. I'm going to put Sub in his hand like he's talking to him. So the only problem is, like, if I want to put the helmet on, I have to store his little ponytail somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put that. That is pretty cool. Movie White Ranger. So not bad. I, I would have definitely liked a Zord, but I'm pretty happy with the White Ranger. All right. Hold on. I've been missing comments all this time, so I apologize. <sighs> Have I seen, have I been to D&B, they have a Jurassic World game. I have not been to D&B in a while, but that sounds cool. I'm definitely in favor of Jurassic World video games. <coughs> I saw your comment, Adam Prime, about giving Tommy diamonds and they just gave him to the rest of the Rangers. White Ranger Tiger Power, indeed. Alright, so what should I do next? Should I do the MMPR box? Or the Play School Heroes. What do you guys want to say? I mean, I'm ultimately going to do them both. It's just which one should I do first? No, Adam, don't fall over. No, I, I saw a Magnum. Very cool. Very good ideas. I like them a lot. Very interesting. All right, so I have one vote for each. All right, that's two votes for play school. This will be pretty quick anyway. So his arms come not attached to his body. <laughs> oh, so, okay. So these things have the detachable arms like the play school figures do. He looks cool, though. I love the purple and the green. Now, does he have any articulation whatsoever? No. The head can't move. The legs can't move. And then the arms come... Like this one solitary piece. And then you just plug this in the back... So 
So he looks pretty cool. I love those guns. I think that looks pretty cool. Basically, well, I was going to say the arms can move, but they, they kind of can't. Like, they plug in. There we go. Now we're plugged in. Okay, so they can move around once you push them all the way in. But, I mean, they can't move at all. Like you, I mean, not that it would matter much, but to have the arms swivel a little bit would have been nice. But ultimately, I think he looks cool. Yeah, they're really, exactly, Candle Kid. They're not really posable figures. They're just kind of like little PVC figures. But, I mean, I think it was only $3, so it's a couple bucks a pack. I definitely like the look of them. I don't know what this character's name is. I apologize. But I mean, nice paint applications. Looks sharp. Kind of cool. Hey, Cody, I did see that. I definitely want it. I don't know when it's coming out or I'll have to look into that, but I'm definitely interested. And I, if I can, I'm probably just ended up buying it on Amazon Japan, but uh, I will totally get that Geo Rider game for Switch. That looks awesome. Have they said when and where Cyberverse is airing? I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Cartoon Network. But I don't know of a time. If I had to guess, given Cartoon Network's history, I'd say 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday. That seems to be when they dump their Transformer shows. Which is kind of a problem. You think this is Blur? Okay. Like I said, I definitely like the, the figurine. Wish he had a little bit more articulation, but I get it. What I'm curious about, and I don't know if I have any of these figures handy. I don't think I do. I was wondering if the other, like, Star Wars Play School and, you know, Marvel Play School that have the same kind of arms, if we can switch them out. I unfortunately don't have any. I don't have any of those figures handy. But I'll have to look into that and get back to you guys but yeah overall not bad neat little dude he doesn't really seem to want to stand up though he seems like he should maybe just because his arms are too is he too front heavy what if i bend the arms back there you go you got to bend the arms back a little bit will american eShop cards work with J japanese shop i do not believe so. I don't believe so, Cody. Someone hooked me up with a flamethrower. I need to burn CNHQ to the ground. <laughs> don't do that. My sister works there. Do not burn HQ Cartoon Network down. Not be good. All right, let's open this up. <laughs> my sister actually writes the promos hey there you go what did i say <laughs> um my sister writes the promos for like coming up next blah 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 or watch this later tonight blah 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 what is this stuck in the I was going to say, technically he is red. This is like stuck in here. This bag does not want to give up the staff. I just think it's funny. Does anyone watch um, Two Hunky Toys on YouTube? Because I know he was buying up a bunch of these and Lord Zed was like the only one he didn't have. So I think it's kind of funny that Lord Zed's the only one I do have. So let's take a look. His Z is a little bent, but he's getting old. Zio or Lord Zed? I don't know. Actually, I just said Zio. I, I need to kick myself. Geo. Um, I don't know. All right, so he's got no... Oh, no, his wrists move. Okay. I was like, he doesn't have any forearm movement. 
but his wrists move. Hey, Tyrant King. Welcome, welcome. And he's got the same kind of ball joint in his abdomen. A little stiff, though. Ball joint in the leg. Feet smooth. He's cool. All right, so let's get him to stand. Can he do sick dance moves? He might be able to. He doesn't have a ton of articulation, though. All right, let's get this bag open so we can take a look at the staff. Sorry, hold on one second. There we go, there we go. All right, here is the staff. Looks pretty good. I think Hasbro should start their own streaming service. They have all the Transformers, PR, other stuff. Hey, One God Tank. Oh, thank you so much. It's very nice of you to say. Power Rangers 2017 movie is the best because it's PG-13. Okay. Who here has some confetti? I do not. It is shiny. I think it's... I think the whole thing is painted. But I can't tell. Uh, does not want to go in his hand. Come on, Zedster, help me out here. Really does not want to go in. Open those hands. Open those hands. Oh my god. If this ever gets in here, I'm never taking it out. Come on, there we go. Jeez. Why is that so difficult? There we go. Now he's ready to go. All right. So I have my little cards, which are quite bent. Try to straighten those out. There you go. Candle Kid's on top of it. Still waiting on Crunchyroll for Rube, but I gave up, went to Kiss Asian. Cody, that is exactly what I did. I don't think Crunchyroll is getting it, so I've been watching it on Kiss Asian too. Not the best, but what are you going to do? I like it so far. I think uh, Rube, RB, whatever you want to call it, pretty neat. Um, the toys are fun, but unfortunately, if you don't have, like, one of the, like, six Ultramen that they seem to care about, the crystals don't do anything in the Rube Gyro. Like, it'll be like, Ultraman, uh, zero, and then it goes, blah, blah, blah. it's like a weird generic explosion sound, and then it's over. I'm like, oh, that's it? That's all you do? It's kind of a bummer. I just really think they need to build a little bit more functionality. I mean, I don't need that much. I mean, I think the capsules for Jeed would just say, like, the name of the Ultraman and then the name of his attack. So, like, you know, Ultraman, Superior Kosen, or something. Like, that's all it needs to be, but they don't even do that. It's just name of the Ultraman, generic explosion sound, that's it. I've had enough parties today. My sister had her birthday party today. Oh, happy birthday to your sister. Cotton candy machine? Yeah, that's right. That sounds good to me. My favorite line from the movie was, Yippee, oh, Kaye, mother. <laughs> mother is good, mother is good. Silly Billy. <laughs> I don't like how TSU Pro restricted YouTube episodes to Japan. Yeah, the, um, you're talking about Tsubayasa? Suburaya, right? Suburaya. One of these days I'm going to learn the name of the company that makes Ultraman. Suburaya, I think it's called. Um, yeah, the first like day or so, the episode was available everywhere. And then they restricted it to just Asian countries. So, If you were lucky enough to jump on there quick and watch the episode, you could. But now you can no longer.
the newest Ultraman uh, Candle Kid. Ultraman is another Toku show. Um, in Japan, long running Toku show. He fights large monsters. And the newest one, Ultraman Rube, started about a month ago. Like early July, I guess. Just a heads up, Chris, I'm going to need to pop out early in a bit, going to game with a friend. Ah, no problem, man. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you were able to hang out for a bit. I feel like the lack of crunchy roll for RB has kind of killed the hype for a bit. Seems like no one's really talking about it. Hey, Daimaru. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I could definitely see that. I think uh, it being on Crunchyroll the last couple years has really opened it up to the Western audiences, so I really do feel like, you know, it, it increased its popularity for sure, and I do think it not being on Crunchyroll this year is it's going to, you might see a bit of a drop-off. Yeah, Cody, I think it's been almost a month, because it was like early to mid-July, wasn't it? My leg is completely falling asleep. I need to stretch it out, so I apologize. Give me a second here. I think it was about a month. Ultraman was supposed to be in Ready Player One, but replaced by Iron Giant. Oh, that would have been cool. I mean, Iron Giant was cool too, but Ultraman would have been cool. At least we got the Gundam. My sister's birthday was technically the first. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of people don't get to have their party exactly on their birthday. It doesn't usually work out. How old's your sister? I'm going to wait for the official release of RB. I think it's going to go to Netflix. A lot of people have been uh, guessing that. Hi, Jambalaya. Oh, now I'm knocking the camera over. Um, because that anime of Ultraman has already been confirmed for Netflix, I think a lot of people are guessing that uh, Rube might eventually show up on Netflix for the same reason, just because they must have some kind of licensing deal. Only time will tell that might happen. All right, see you, train fans. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Yeah, I mean, I don't... The thing is, when, I'm, when I like watching the show while the toys are out because that's what makes me want the toys. And I know I'll watch the show later and not have the toys. And then I'll have to track them down on the aftermarket and pay higher prices. So, you know, I, I just, I'd rather watch the show while it's airing so I can get the toys as they come out and it all just it all links up, lines up. My birthday was July 2nd, and I had my party on the 14th. I turned 10. Awesome. Man, you're only 10? That makes me feel so old. All right, so the last thing I had, I got this little Harry Potter poly bag that I thought I could put together real quick because it really shouldn't take that long. Harry Potter Legos are totally back, and I love it. The hype is real. I don't know what happened. I think it's because it's the 25th anniversary of the first book. But everything is Harry Potter again. Target has a huge display in the front. Legos are making new Lego sets. They had some blind bags. I've done some videos. It's awesome. HP is back with a vengeance. I got the poly bag at Target. Uh, it was, I think, $3.99, I believe. I'm going to try to adjust this quick here. So it's not too much. It's literally his little, like, cart that he wheels his stuff to the train. Bye, Tyrant King. Thanks for stopping by. So you get HP. You get this owl cage. So let's, let's build this. We got super tiny little HP legs. It's kind of funny because in the blind bags... They have short legs now that can articulate and actually move back and forth. So there are three sizes of legs now. There are these super tiny legs that don't move. There's the normal legs which move. And then there's kind of the just slightly longer than these that move. So it's crazy. Going to go to Target tomorrow. Hopefully they'll have this and the minifigs. Yeah, they should. The um, I'm pretty sure... The minifig uh, blind bags officially came out August 1st, so they should be around now. I have been to two different Targets, I think, and found them. And I was even at a Barnes & Noble, and that they had them as well. So if you can't find them at 
Target, you can always try Barnes & Noble as well. Yo, I think... Uh, I haven't seen anything at Walmart either, Cody. I think what happened was Target got some kind of exclusive deal. So obviously, Lego sells them on their website and at Lego stores. But otherwise, Target got an exclusive deal to have all the stuff early. I think they will eventually go everywhere, but I think Target got like early access or exclusive rights early on because I've only seen the big sets at Target. Now they have some ones coming out for Fantastic Beasts. There is this set, which is uh, Grindelwald's Escape. It comes with a Thestral here. And then that is the uh, American Magical President, and then Grindelwald's inside. <laughs> but that's a little $20 set. I've seen that at a couple Targets now. And there's another set that looks like uh, Newt's Case, and you can open it up and all the creatures are inside, so it looks really cool. So let's take a look. Here's Harry. He's got two faces. We're going to give him his exclaimed face because that's just more fun. My Walmart doesn't have any Harry Potter Legos. None of my stores do. My Walmart got it, but my town doesn't have a Target. Walmart should just stop carrying anything fun related there most of the time. <laughs> Useless. Yeah, I don't... I mean, every now and then I'll find a Transformer or something at Walmart, but I really don't find too much. It doesn't feel like... Sometimes Imagine X stuff, like I said, every once in a while. When... Um, all the Jurassic World stuff came out. I will say, though, that they had all of the Target Imagine X stuff. Yeah, not Target. All of the Jurassic World Imagine X stuff before Target did. So, like, I went over to Walmart and got pretty much everything I wanted. And when, like, the Mattel Jurassic World toys came out, they had them pretty good, too. Yeah, Marvel Legends, Walmart's not terrible for Marvel Legends either. I love these new wands, by the way. Really well done. Alright, so let's see. Now we need this piece. And then this piece. This is what our owl is going to perch on top of. As far as I'm aware, Target had a deal to get HP sets a month early. But not the Fantastic Beast sets or the minifigures. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the Fantastic Beast and the minifigures just had a street date of 8-1, so they're just out. Uh, but you're right. The the Harry Potter sets, the Great Hall, the Whomping Willow, the Quidditch set, and the Spider, and all the Brickheads. They got them a month early. Because they used to have like big like pallets in the middle of the aisles. Like out in the middle of the aisle of the store. Like not the aisle of the toy aisle. Like the big walkway aisles <laughs> they just had a big kind of cardboard pallet that they just threw out there near electronics walmart has come through for me sometimes seven deluxe power of the prime figures but usually target has a better selection yeah daimaru i'm right there with you like i said every now and then walmart will have some transformers or something randomly my mom says target is too expensive walmart has the exact same thing cheaper have you looked and compared them? No, then shut up. <laughs> I would say for certain things, Walmart might be cheaper than Target, but I think for toys, prices are pretty much set. I mean, usually you'll see like maybe Target's seven ninety nine and Walmart's like seven eighty six, just to say they're cheaper. It's like fifteen cents. But all right, so now we're going to make these spindle things which are going to go around the outside walgreens is what comes through for me most of the time i don't have a walgreens yeah walgreens are not bad um they're very hit or miss for me sometimes i'll go i feel like for when i go to walgreens i'm either looking for dragon ball super super was it i keep saying superstars Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars, I think that line is called. Those figures, uh, Walgreens has a lot. And Marvel Legends, they're pretty good for. Sometimes Imagine X Blind Bags, Walgreens is good for. That's usually what I end up buying there. They have a couple uh, Marvel Legends that are exclusive to Walgreens, like the Fantastic Four. So I go for that. I found some of newest wave of Dragon Stars. Yeah, exactly. 
Walmart always seems to have whatever it is I'm looking for for when once I've given up hope or finding whatever it is. I mean, hey man, if you have luck at Walmart, you know, I'm just jealous of you because I don't usually. <laughs> I still feel weird going to Walgreens to look for toys. It's true, Daimaro. It's definitely not where you would expect to go to look for toys. Also, the new Venom wave of Marvel Legends. That's right, Adam Prime. You want to talk new Marvel Legends from Venom? Is that what you want to talk about? You want to talk about those? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I got lucky the other day. Target. Target's been setting their... Uh... <laughs> yes. That Carnage, I, they did a Carnage a long time ago and I missed it, so I was very excited that they were reissuing, or not reissuing, but making a new Carnage. But yeah, I got, Target has been resetting all the toy aisles recently, and as a result, they have been waiting to put out product until, hold on, did I do this right? Yes, I did. They've been waiting to put out product until the aisles were reset. And so I got there right when they were doing it, and they put out a fresh case of the X-Men ones with Wolverine and Sabretooth and Magneto and all them, and then a fresh case of those um, Carnage or Venom wave. Not much else in the wave that interests me, I gotta be honest, but I grabbed Scream and Carnage because I love the symbiotes. I found Carnage yesterday and snagged it up. Excellent, Adam. They look really good. They do. Did you hear about Walmart selling G1 Transformers again? Jaren, yes, I did. That's true. I do need to start going to Walmarts because I do want to get those. <laughs> I might not get all of them because I have some of them. But honestly, I don't think... I was thinking about this the other day. I'm pretty sure the only G1 Devastator I have is actually the G2 Devastator, the all yellow one. So I don't have a green one. So I might get that. And I don't think I ever got a G1 Starscream. And I might get some of the mini bots too, because I don't think I have them either. So I'm kind of excited to just walk into a store and, and literally travel back in time and see that old 80s packaging and everything. I just think that's going to be really fun. TRU $8.99, Target $7.99, Walmart $7.86, Kmart $8.01. I'm willing to pay more for service. I can't do that at Walmart. Fair enough. Fair point. Carnage is a good figure. I agree. I need to stop watching your videos because there's so much stuff that you review that I want to buy. Yeah, hey, I'm the one that buys it, so I'm right there with you. I know how that feels. Yeah, the G1 toys look neat. I just think it's so fun that they use the same packaging again because it's going to look exactly the same uh, as the 80s, and that's just so fun to me. I just want G1 Devastator. I can leave the rest personally. Fair enough. It's, it's going to be a nice box set. A little pricey, but I think it's going to be nice. I'm trying to find a 12 Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Which one is that? From the movie? From Homecoming, you mean? Or a more recent one. I want to collect more G1 toys. My ex destroyed all mine. Oh, that's no good. Oh, 12 inch. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, so now we're going to build his little, I guess, cart this is. Pop this on. Yeah, I think I saw one of those. I think the one I saw was the Black Symbiote costume Spider-Man. I saw that at a Target somewhere. Well, wait, Walmart actually has something I want. I might want those figures help. The sky is falling. <laughs> why keep why keep taking out inch? Oh, I see. You're saying the chat is removing the term inch. That's weird. But I have no idea why YouTube chat does the things that it does. Oh, wow. $600? And she just destroyed it? I guess you guys had a bad breakup? That really stinks, man. I don't know. I've always been of the idea. It's like, you know, whatever the relationship is, whatever happens, you're unhappy with me, whatever. It doesn't give you the right to destroy another person's property. Like, I, I never got around to that. I never thought that was cool. Oh, Black Bolt? I think they did Black Bolt re rather recently. So I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, that's so cool. It's actually, you can see it's printed on there. 
it's telling them how to do the wand movement with the feather to lift it up. Couldn't you sue? I'm sure you could take him to small claims court or Judge Judy or something. Take him to Judge Judy. Then he can get on TV. All right, so that's cool. You get a little book. I like that. And then he has a suitcase. See, now this is the old style of suitcase. I was just talking about this the other day in my Fantastic Beast review. Because I'm going to bring in Newt. And you can see Newt has the new style of briefcase. First of all, I love those gold clasps. And then when you open it up, that's what his briefcase looks like. Now this is the old style of briefcase. And see that tiny piece of paper thin plastic in between? When you bend this to close it, it's going to weaken that. And if you open and close this about three or four times, that's going to snap. But this new style of briefcase is perfect because it's a plastic hinge. It's very similar to this book hinge. Almost identical, to be honest. So, more briefcases like this. Less briefcases like this. But I guess maybe it's not a briefcase, it's a suitcase, but even still. Alright, so if I bend this, you just kind of have to keep that closed. But this is cool. So this is like his his trunk to get to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Which is actually cool because I have, they made a Lego set of Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And I have that. And now I can use this blind bag with that set. It all works out perfectly. My friend is sending me the doubles of G1 Transformers he has. That's nice. Very nice. What I would say is, like, yard sales, flea markets, it might not be amazing condition, but you can find some older stuff for cheap. That would be my suggestion to you. Are you thrilled for Punch Counter Punch? I can't tell you how thrilled I am for Punch Counter Punch for two reasons. One, I had the original when I was a kid, and I loved that toy. So fun. So fun. It's like getting, you know, two toys in one. Um, then they did that Punch Counter Punch... Um, in the Transformer Collectors Club years ago, maybe three, four years ago at this point. Um, and I thought that looked decent. It used that classics side swipe Sunstreaker mold from, I want to say, like the late 2000s, maybe 2010, somewhere in there. So maybe almost 10 years ago, actually. I guess it was a while ago. But it was a decent use because if you transformed it, like they use the same mold for Sunstreaker and Sideswipe, but they just transformed it a little differently to make it different, but it was the same car. And so what they did was they turned that mold into punch counter punch and had you kind of transform it the Sideswipe way to be punch and kind of transform it the Sunstreaker way to be counter punch. And it was decent, but the other thing was it was a Transformers Collector Club, so it was super pricey. I think it was like $90 or something. And I kind of wanted it, but I was like, eh, you know, I'm not paying $90. It's just kind of ridiculous to me. So the fact that now they're making one and it's much more affordable and it's probably going to be a better toy because it's a mold that's actually meant to be punch counter punch instead of a decent repaint. So for all those reasons, I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I'm getting the cheaper one and I'm happy to get that toy because I love that character from when I was a kid. So I'm super psyched. So I'm very confused here. Okay, so he's got his cauldron. He's got his book and he's got his suitcase. He doesn't have any wheels. There's no wheels for this. It's just that's what it is. Where do these clippy things go? Oh, I see. This goes in the top. So that you can grab it. So then these are extra pieces. So I put them to the side. Alrighty. Movie masterpiece Optimus Prime. Yeah, I... I thought about grabbing that when Toys R Us was going under, but I was waiting for it to get to be like at least 50%, and then by the time they were at 50%, they were all gone. So I was like, eh, all right, I'll live without it. I don't really like the movie ones, I gotta be honest, just because I'm not a huge fan of the movie designs as it is. But, I mean, if you like them, absolutely. I just, that's why I pass on them personally. Power of the Primes, Optimus Primal. Yeah, I can't find him either. I think he's just a little too early. 
Um, basically, from what my understanding is, Hasbro was holding off sending out product because of Toys R Us going under. And Toys R Us owed the money, so they just like stopped shipping everything. So what they decided to do was they promised they would ship more Wave 2 stuff because that didn't get amazing distribution because they were holding off on product. So they're kind of shipping out a little bit of Wave 2 stuff to meet that demand. And then when that's done, Wave 3 will follow suit. So that's why it's kind of leaking some places, but it's not really out yet. So just hang in there. We'll find it eventually. Am I excited for Hasbro Power Ranger toys? Absolutely. Absolutely. In my mind, Hasbro is a great company. I'm always usually, very usually, happy with their products. They can't do any worse than Bandai of America. You know, I'm sure they'll do much better. I mean, they do Marvel Legends. They do Star Wars Black. I'm sure if they do a line of figures like that, they'll be great. They know transforming robots. <laughs> they have for over 30 years. I'm sure they'll be able to do great things with that. I mean, it's a slam dunk. There's no way they can. It'll be great. Sorry, I'm trying to get to these comments here. I have nothing from Beast Wars, so this may be my only shot that's not used. Fair enough. Yeah, Beast Wars definitely had some great toys. I'm trying to find a movie man. Okay, Candle Kid. I got a Supreme Class Cybertron Starscream. I'm going to paint into Skywarp. Supreme Class. Uh, oh, the uh, the Cybertron Starscream, the really huge one, the like one foot. No, yeah, it's probably. How tall would you say that was? Maybe not quite two feet, but maybe one and a half. And eh, maybe it was two feet tall. Yeah, I agree, Adam Prime. I think it's a little weird that it doesn't have wheels. But I guess they're trying to say because it's a, such a small trolley, you can just kind of pretend those are the wheels. And I mean, it, it moves along, it glides along easy enough. It's a simple construction, but I think it works. I love the book. I love the suitcase. Plus, it's really great. Like I said, this will work perfectly if you have the Platform 9 and 3 quarters um, set already. This will fit right in with that. Because this is what he always puts on his trolley to get ready to go to school. And I love this spell book. I think that's so perfect. So I'm really enjoying that. It's a simple little poly bag, but I think it works. And I think it has great compatibility potential with other sets that you've probably already purchased. How did MGO and Bolt get theirs? I believe they bought them from online retailers. Uh, online retailers will always get stuff earlier because they get it right from the man, you know, right from the manufacturer, right from Hasbro, and they don't have to worry about shelf space, sending out to distribution centers, making it. Because the thing is, when like Target orders stuff, they don't one, they don't know what they're ordering. They say, "Give me a case of X because I have a room on my shelf for X." So a case of X goes to their distribution center. Then it gets filtered out to the stores in that distribution area. Then the stores have to grab it. Then the stores have to put it out whenever the space opens up. So there's so many factors that just slow down the whole process. Whereas someone like Big Bad Toy Store goes, I actually know what this product is. I'm going to order it. I'm going to get it. And I'm going to immediately make it available and then sell it because I know people are looking for it. And I can jack the price up slightly because I know you're impatient. And then that's how they make money. And I'm not saying they're wrong to do that. I'm just saying it's so much easier for an online retailer who actually is familiar with the product as opposed to someone like Walmart or Target. People working at Walmart and Target don't know anything about Transformers. People at Big Bad Toy Store do. So <laughs> it's so much easier for them to get them and get them out than it is for you to just walk into Walmart and find it. You're, I don't hate him. I barely got anything. I wonder how Hasbro will handle the PR legacy line. Continue where we are or start over at MMPR. Hi, Power Rider. Um, sadly, I think they will probably start over at MMPR. And I only say sadly because I already have so much MMPR stuff, as I'm sure most of you do. So I would like them to do something I don't already have, but I think for Hasbro it makes total sense to start MMPR. They want some of that MMPR cash cow. 
especially considering how much they paid for it. So I'm hoping, I mean, go ahead and do it. I know you have to do it, but do it quickly and then move on to something we don't already have. I'm okay with them redoing MMPR. I just, after that, I hope they jump to something we don't already have, like Turbo or, uh, I always say Magi Ranger, Mystic Force, <laughs> something we don't already have, RPM. How thrilled are you for War of Cybertron Siege toy line? Yes, I think they look great. Um, it's kind of funny when they first announced, oh, we're doing War for Cybertron, I was thinking to myself, well, we already had War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, the lines tied to those video games. Those games were great. Those toys were great. So I was very excited about all that. But I was kind of surprised they were going back to that. But then when you actually see these molds, they don't really feel like super Cybertronian modes. They feel like a mix of Cybertronian and Earth modes, which I like. I think they look good. Um... It's just, to me, it's not super Cybertronian, which is kind of what they first explained. But I like them. I think all the modes look great. I love the idea of making weapons out of the uh, Minicons, the Micromasters. And the fun thing is, they're doing Micromasters like redos of original Micromasters. Like, I had those car and military Micromasters. I actually probably still have them somewhere. But I actually remember those exact toys from when I was a kid, and now they're just getting redone with better articulation and the ability to turn into guns and stuff. I'm floored. That sounds so fun. Oh, you gotta go. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. But yeah, I think Siege looks great. All the molds look fun. Um, the little weapon gimmicks look fun. I just want to know why we haven't seen any Decepticons yet. I want to see some Decepticons. <laughs> I think they're probably holding them for NYCC or Toy Fair or something. I'm not sure. I like sleek design Transformers like Cheetor. You talking Masterpiece Cheetor? He's a good toy. I used to think Hasbro was God with toys, then Cyberverse happened, which is mostly bad couple exceptions, and then I remember Blazing Team. I will say this about Cyberverse. I think the larger size classes you get, the better they are. The Ultra Class and the Ultimate Class are actually pretty decent, but it makes sense because they're bigger, more expensive, they can put more paint, more articulation and everything into them. I really feel like Cyberverse is meant for young kids. Cyberverse, to me, is meant for kids that are just coming out of uh, Rescue Bots and are looking for a little bit more of a challenge transforming things, but not too much. So I think adult collectors and older collectors like us just have to not be mad at Cyberverse and just let it exist for other people because it's not really meant for us. Now, there are a couple you can get and enjoy, and that's perfectly fine, but... You know, you sitting there dumping on it all the time, it's not for us. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it, of course we're not going to like it. It's very basic. Um, some of them are fun. But, yeah, like, the whole scout class, I'm going to be completely skipping that. I might hand pick one or two warrior class, but I'll be skipping most of those. Um, I got the Prime and the Megatron and the Ultimate class. They're fun. And I got the Grimlock and the Ultra class. And I think he's pretty good too so but i really do think they're meant for younger kids so if you just keep that in mind and you know you know take a look at them in the store if you think they're fun go for it if you don't think they're for you then just skip it because i'm really looking forward to wave three for power of the primes and beyond and then siege when that finally happens that's that's going to be for us and they look like they're all going to be amazing so i'm super psyched for all that Did you see the leaked clip of Geo's cameo from the Build movie? Yes, I did. Um, it was very short. The one I saw was four or five seconds. Uh, it was mostly Sento turning around going, huh? And Geo was like, Build Ride Watch. <laughs> so, I mean, but hey, looks great. Love the suit. So excited for Geo. It's going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, there's no way Hasbro doesn't want the MMPR money. Exactly. I want Marvel Legends, but with Power Rangers. Yes, Adam, that's what we all want. I want Hasbro to reissue the Zeonizers, hardly saw those, and I was too broke to buy them. Zeonizers on Amazon right now, $68, something in that area. Go on Amazon if you're looking for a Zeonizer. They're around $70 with prime shipping. Get yourself a Zeonizer. <laughs> I think a lot of that stock is going to get dumped to Amazon because of Toys R Us going under. So if you're looking for that, definitely head over there. 
Imagine if Hasbro made legacy weapons, bow, lance, etc., similar to Power Sword. That could be cool. I would like an axe that could change into the gun. I always thought that was kind of neat. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just like that one piece that you just slide down to the end of the handle to turn it into the gun mode. But then if you could put it in the gun mode and, like, that top part of the axe then had a trigger that would make sounds, that would be great. I would totally buy that. A power axe that could convert from gun to sword, or from gun to axe and had sounds. Totally on board for that. I hope Hasbro does some cheaper stuff for the older seasons. Like, I would love to get a Legacy-style Astro Megazord, but I don't want to have to pay $100. Agreed. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Astro and Delta Megazords that they're doing in the Super Mini Plot line. Because Super Mini Plot, I just built my first one recently, was Live Robo, and I was really impressed with it. Really love the way that you put them together and they transform after you build them. So it's really neat. You don't just like take them apart and build different configurations like Legos. They literally transform after you build them. So well done. So I know Japan is doing the Astro and Delta Mega Ships in that line and I'm really excited for that as well. So far the concept of Cog for Siege is interesting. Yes, I agree. I think he looks really cool. Cog to me looks like six... Is it six gun? Six shot? No, it's not six shot. What is the... The, all the weapons from Metroplex that got put together, I think Six Gunner or something like that. Um, you, it would take all the guns from Metroplex and you could build them into a robot. It looks like him and God Bomber had a kid. <laughs> and it's a uh, cog from Siege. Cody, Amazon has a good deal on the Xeonizers. Yes, that's what I was just saying. Definitely check that out. Can you do a review on 12-inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man? Uh, probably not, Candle Kid. I apologize. I just I don't really like the 12-inch figures, so I'm probably not going to buy that. The fact he can go from vehicle to robot to separate and combine with other robots is awesome. Yes, I agree. Cog definitely looks like a lot of fun. I also really enjoy Cog if he can work with all the different Autobots. Like, if he can only combine with Sideswipe, it'll be less fun. But if you can combine him with any... Now, I understand he'll probably combine in different ways. But if you can combine him with all the different Autobots, that's going to be really awesome. Agreed, it's there for those wrapping up Rescue Bots. Exactly. We need a Seacon Combiner. Yes, Jaren! That's what I... I'm really bummed because I really feel like they're rushing along the third uh, leg of this Prime Trilogy with Power of the Primes. I like what they've done so far, I really do, but there's still a lot of things they never did. Again, like you said, Seacon's Combiner Team. Give us the Autobot Target Masters. Give us, um, I would love to see the Brain Masters from Victory. You know, give us Road Caesar as a Combiner. That would be amazing. Uh, give us the Breast Masters. Give us Dino King or Monstructor even. Um... There's still a lot of fun stuff they could do, and I really feel like they're just like, no, we're moving on to Siege. We're just going to kind of dump out, you know. I mean, Star Saber is meant for this evolution line. You know, you have Orion Pax, Optimus Prime. Star Saber has the smaller jet robot and then the larger jet robot. He's meant to be put in this line, and it's not going to happen. It's such a shame. There's so much more they could do in, way in this Power of the Primes, third leg of the Prime trilogy, but I really feel like they're just giving us some stuff and then giving up so they can move on and i mean i'm gonna like what comes next but i've really loved this prime trilogy combiner wars was great titan's return was great i liked what i see so far power of the primes i'm not ready to let it go yet <laughs> it's really fun yeah power of the primes predaking looks great i don't have it yet but it definitely looks really good I have my own rule, at least get one cheapest prime from the line no matter what, just to represent the line for me. That's not a bad idea. I think uh, Brian has the same rule for Bumblebee. <laughs> Six gun. Yes, thank you, Jaren. Six gun. I can see Hasbro officially importing the candy toys for Sentai into PR on Hasbro Toy Shop. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. I do hope Hasbro does some interesting stuff with PR toys. I found myself disinterested in most of Toku toys as of late. So something different would be nice. I really do think Daimaro Hasbro is going to have its own spin. And I think you're going to like it. At least I'm I'm being optimistic that I'll like it. My birthday is in about a month. I just have to that Amazon deal stays there till mid-September. Hopefully it will. Like I said, I really think they're going to get a lot of stock that was meant for Toys R Us. So fingers crossed. Is it possible to get a Studio Series Optimus Prime? 
Probably not. I have so many movie versions of Optimus Prime. If you want to check my channel, I have one up now for Last Night Optimus Prime, which was a pretty good toy. So definitely check that out. I've got Age of Extinction Optimus Primes up there. I mean, I got lots of Primes. I just did uh, Cyberverse Prime. Check them out. Uh, hi, Power Rider. Long, have you heard about the new Super Sentai Artisan Morphers? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, I will be getting that. I have it pre-ordered, so I will be getting that and most likely reviewing it when it comes in. They look really great. A lot of fun. I heard their voice activated, too. That's amazing. I think Seacons will come. Maybe a while, sort of a gap between Combiner Wars and Abominus. But I think they'll happen, especially since they've gotten the Combiner concept down. Yeah, I was so happy when we got Abominus. And when they, they made the new Dinobots. Because I've been wanting, like, classics, whatever you want to call them, updated Dinobots. Because... Back in the original Classics line, they did a version of Grimlock, but it was really weird where, like, the head of the dinosaur became his feet. I didn't really care for it that much. It was all right. And they were trying something different, and I appreciate that. But they never did any of the other ones, and I was like, where's my classic Slag? Where's my classic Sludge? You know what I mean? I want those other characters. I really like Sludge. Oh, I'm sorry, Jambalaya. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. So... I wanted those other Dinobots for so long, so when they announced them, I was so excited. And then we got the Terracons, and I was like, yes, I love the Terracons, so excited. So, I've really been liking everything in Power of the Prime so far. Even, like, <laughs> they gave us Optimus and they gave us Rodimus, and then they're like, crap, we don't have any more Primes, so just do a black version of Optimus and a black version of Rodimus. And you know what? They're great. I love them, too. <laughs> So, I'm in. I'm in. They need to just give us more stuff. I would really love the Autobot Target Masters. We got all the Decepticons. Why not the Autobots? Why, 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 why? In Japan, they did the Autobot Target Masters Partners with three random uh, Top Spin, Twin Twist, and Wind Blade because they didn't. They never did the Autobot Target Masters, but they wanted to at least put their Target Master Partners out into the world, so they did that. But... I just don't know why they didn't do it. Why did they skip them? I think the only thing they have to wedge in their gun modes. I don't know what you're talking about. Hold on. Oh, you're talking about the Seacons. I could honestly leave out the gun modes. I that would be fine. You just give me Seacon give me updated Seacons that just, you know, monster robot gestalt team. That's fine. I don't care about the gun modes. <laughs> Because, see, you got to understand, Seacons is part of Master Force, King Poseidon. So, I want it. And I'm also really bitter that the Junior Headmasters never really got bodies. Yes, we got the little Titan Master packs for Nightbeat, Siren. We never got Hosehead. And I believe we got Fangry, Squeeze Play, and Horrible. But I want bodies for them. I want real Transtectors. I need my Master Force characters. Hooray, you're caught up with the chat. Yes, Cody, I finally did it. There's a lot of questions there all at once. Creo Transformers are really good. Uh, yes. Do I have Creo Transformers? I think I did. With the Creo Transformers, I never really liked the big building sets. I liked the little Transformer minifigures. I thought they were really neat. So I'm pretty sure I have a few blind bags of those. They'd always, like, try to take like the Creo minifigure and then like find a way for it to transform by just like clipping pieces on or like laying it down and I'm just like I don't need it to transform the whole point of it is that it's an adorable little Transformers Lego minifigure I don't need it to transform I know someone that custom made squeeze place trans hexer using power of the primes blot I think I saw that I think I saw that on Twitter somewhere yes it did look good and they should just do that now, let's see, those will, they don't have headmaster ports, though. Honestly, like what they did with the monster bots, if they just repainted something to give me transtectors for those guys, I'd be on board. Like, I don't need it to be super fanciful. Just, you know, just repaint something. I'm still salty about Takara stuffing Cab and Minerva in the God Jinrai set. Yeah, I agree. I think that was the only way to get Cab, right? 
I mean, technically, we got Nightbeat, which is Minerva, but not in the right color scheme because Minerva in Japan is an uh, ambulance, so she's red and white, not yellow and blue. Hey, Yoga Instructor, welcome. They have a Creo Devastator. Is it a little minifigure or an actual brick built thing? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's weird. You know how YouTube is. You got to hit the bell and then you got to tell the bell you actually want to get notifications. It's like 17 steps now. So you have to subscribe, but that's not enough. Then you have to hit the bell. Then there's a setting next to the bell that lets you calibrate how often the bell goes off. It's like YouTube. How many hoops do I have to jump through? It's ridiculous. They have a little Devastator and a big one. See, I would want the little one. I don't... And brick built stuff... I don't care about that, but a little minifigure would be adorable. Have you seen any of the Grim Lockamus work on Twitter? He's custom making Magnaboss and Predakin. Yes, I did see that. He does. That guy is crazy good. I saw his um, Power Ranger repaint of the Dinobots, which was really impressive. Um, I did see the Magnaboss. Now, I guess they're not going to be able to, to combine together, I would assume, because he used, I think, two Predacons... Or no, are they all three Predacons? Yeah, because he used Dive Bomb, Razor Claw, and I think maybe Tantrum? It looked like he used... <laughs> I could be wrong about this, but the head of the elephant that he used, I think, is from a Jungle Fury Zord. I could be wrong. If somebody knows, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> but I'm like, wait a minute, that elephant head looks familiar. I think it's from the Jungle Fury elephant. But, uh, yeah... He did? Okay, I was correct. Awesome. Yeah, they look great. I don't know how, like I said, it's a bummer they can't connect. Well, actually, hold on. If he used... <laughs> if he used Razor Claw and the two legs of Predaking, maybe they can connect. I guess it wouldn't have arms. No, he did Dive Bomb, which is an arm. So he's got one arm, one leg in the middle section. So yeah, I don't know how that would work. But I'd be interested to see what he does with it. He really does good work. Oh, you're saying it's six little minifigs that somehow make Devastator? That's interesting. Everyone sounds like they just found this out. I've known about the bell for almost a year now. Well, that's what I'm saying, Cody. The bell does exist, but now there's like a sub part to the bell. They've made it even more complicated. There's like a, a bell part two. That's funny, Candle Kid. I'd be interested. I'll have to Google that to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's true, Daimaro. I mean, I don't really have any other options, so I keep doing it. And I mean, I have fun. I mean, at the end of the day, I do it to have fun. I don't really... I mean, any money I make from it is just a bonus, and I'm very happy to make whatever little bit of money they want to pay me, but I do it for fun, so that's why I'm doing it. But it would be great if it could be my career, but I don't really have any illusions or... And disillusions of that happening. Did you see the new WFC Siege line? Yes. Uh, Yo, Constructor, you did come in late, but we did talk about that. Yes, I'm very excited. I think they look great. I want to know why we haven't seen any Decepticons yet. But yes, very excited for everything. I think it all looks really fun. Who's my top favorite toy reviewer such as myself? Well, obviously Shook, my partner in crime over on Geek Each Week, my very good friend. Um, going to be actually seeing him in about a week at Power Morphicon. Very, very excited. No, two weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks from this weekend. Right? Yes, two weeks from this weekend. Um, I definitely watched Bolt. Absolutely. Uh, we tried to get him on the podcast once, but I, he couldn't do it for time constraints and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I love watching Bolt. He loves Mugenbein as much as I do, so definitely feel like have a kindred spirit there. Um, who else do I watch? I watch Bruno and Mia, MMPR Toys. I watch uh, Jang Bricks for Legos. That guy's nuts. Super thorough. His his custom city is just bonkers amazing. Um, really, really good. <laughs> uh, who else do I watch? I guess that's most of 
who I watch on YouTubes. Vault Matrix, Paul, Mgo, and Jobby the Hong. Very good. All very good. I've watched a couple of Paul's videos. I don't, am I saying that right? Is it Paul? Paul? I don't really know how to pronounce it. I apologize. Um, but yeah, he's great too. I'm not super familiar with Mgo. Um, I've heard the name, but I haven't seen any of his videos. I should check it out. And I've heard of Jobby the Hong as well. Um, I hear he's very funny, so I should check his out as well. I have my bell on all posts, but it didn't notify me. YouTube is so complicated. I agree. It's weird. Are you going to guest star on R R the Streets? I don't know. I would totally do it if they asked me. I love those guys. Um, I'm not super... I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know all of them, on all the guys on there. I know Will. I know Kevin. I talk to them quite a bit on Twitter. Um, I think it's Tyler, and I feel so stupid. I don't remember everyone's name. Oh, I don't want to forget the last guy because he's really funny, and I'm so – I know he goes by Frozen. I'm trying to remember his real name. But, yeah, those guys are great. I mean, if they would ask me, absolutely, I would do it. It sucks that YouTube is really the only option. It feels like things just get worse. Yeah. Vangelis is good. Yes, I think I've seen one or two of his videos. Usually how I stumble upon new people is like if I'm looking... Tyler and Corey. Thank you, Cody. Thank you. Yes. Cody is... Or blah, blah, blah. Corey is Frozen, right? He goes by Frozen? Or is his handle something with Frozen? And I remember Tyler's name because his avatar is, is Tyler from um, uh, Dino Charge with his Coke can. But yeah, I was watching that last night. Those guys are great. Oh. Wow, I'm sleepy. They have a Megazord build kit, but I forget what it's called. You mean the Super Mini Plot? For Daijuji? It is already 120. Wow, really got away from me. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll hang on for a couple more minutes. Yeah, the uh, the Super Mini Plot, I would, here's the thing. When it first came out, I was like, I already have so many representations of the Megazord. You know, I have the Solo Chogokin, I have the Legacy, I have the original. There's so many versions of the Megazord. So I was like, I don't need it man whatever and then the uh, dragon caesar came out and i was like that looks kind of cool i kind of want that but i don't really need it again i have the original dragon zord i have the legacy dragon zord i'm good and then like i said i built the live robo super mini plot and now i'm like super into mini plot so i'm like uh probably should go back and get the daijujin and the dragon caesar but I can't really find them anywhere for a good price anymore. So if one day it happens and I find it and it's a decent price, I'll probably grab it. If I if it never happens, I'll live without it. So IGTV is like YouTube, but it's 10 minute vids, vertical video only for, f oh, uh, Instagram. No, no. Instagram TV. I want no parts of it. Down with vertical video, first of all. And limiting everything to 10 minutes. You can't always do a Tony review in 10 minutes. So, No interest in IGTV. Yeah, I did see... I've seen Dragon Caesar a couple times at Barnes & Noble. But never... Um, Daijujin slash the Dino Megazord. So, I wanted to get Mini Plot Daijujin. But once I saw the price with Dragon Caesar and King Brachion, I couldn't bring myself... Yeah, even if I, even if I did get... Daijujin and Dragon Caesar, I probably would not get King Brachion. I really don't have any interest in that. Honestly, I would get it because I love the the form of Dragon Caesar with the Sabretooth, the Triceratops, and the Mastodon. That's always been my favorite form from that first season of MMPR from Jew Ranger, or whatever you want to say. So if I would get those, I would probably just put it in that configuration. But yeah, King Brachion is a lot. I think he's like over a hundred bucks. So I think Dragon Caesar is about forty ish, forty five, and I think Daijujin is 
60-ish. But if I see, here's the thing. If I run into a Barnes & Noble and I find Daijujin, I'll probably grab it. What toy would you recommend for stop motion? Ooh, stop motion. I don't know. I don't really do a lot of stop motion. I think you could probably do it with anything. It's just a matter of... Like... I don't know. Again, I'm no stop motion expert by any means. I don't do it a lot. and I really don't know much about it. I've dabbled in a little bit. Um, I think the key to good stop motion is being able to be fluid enough that, you know, you have to take a, a lot of pictures in every pose so that it moves fluidly. And I usually don't have the patience for that. So I'll do something with like Lego minifigures where I just kind of like move the arms and legs a little bit and he, it's kind of wonky as he moves across. <laughs> but uh, probably something that's not too big or complicated but has decent posability, I think, is something probably you'd want. Isn't mini plot line supposed to be cheap? Why $100? Um, it depends what you're talking about. Like these are super mini plot, so they're like a little bit higher grade quality. And it's usually for a full set, so it's like like the amount of packages used to build Dragon Caesar is probably like three or four. Um, and it's only 40. So the reason King Brachion is more is he has a motorized component. So there's the technology for the motorized component. And also he's fairly large. So that's why he's a lot. I'm out, but before I go, I might do my own toy review channel eventually, but only on weekends because of my job. Anywho, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Thanks, Jaren. Thank you for stopping by. Do you have all of the Power Rangers? That's a that's a vague question. <laughs> do I have... You're talking about for these guys over here? Or just in general? Oh, Candle Kid, I'm sure it's good. I mean, that's the thing. Really, you just kind of take your time. You play with it. You get better at it as you figure it out. You know, you just kind of try different things, see what works. You know, as long as you're having fun, that's what it's all about. But yeah, I see a lot of people dropping out, and we've been going for over an hour, almost an hour and a half at this point. So I'm probably going to wrap this up because it's 1.30 in the morning, and I should go to sleep. So thank you guys. I want to thank everyone who joined, sitting around chatting with me. I always have fun interacting with you guys. We get talking. It's fun. So I really appreciate you hanging out. Hope you have an excellent rest of your weekend. And, uh, yeah, that'll Thank you so much for hanging out.